Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving quadratic equations by factoring. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, 6b squared minus 13b plus 3 equals a negative 3, and we want to solve this by factoring. First thing I'm doing is I'm adding a 3 to both sides. Let's get this equal to 0. 6b squared minus 13b plus, well, 3 plus 3 is 6, okay? So 3 plus 3 is now hmm, 6. Well, what I want to do now is I can't really simplify this right away or factor it, but I can try it by grouping. So I'm going to take 6 and times that by 6, and that gets me 36. So again, we're doing grouping here. So now I want to see, well, we have to have two numbers that multiply by 36, but they're going to add to be a negative 13. So the positive 36, both, so both numbers will be negative here. We have a negative 1 and negative 36. Negative 2 and negative 18, both multiply to be 36. Negative 3 and negative 12. And negative 4 and negative 9. And negative 6 and negative 6. Okay. Well, hmm. Which ones can I add together, combined to be a negative 13? And that's right here, negative 4 and negative 9. We add them together, we get negative 13. So now I'm going to rewrite this, 6b squared, and instead of minus 13b, I'm going to combine these two, because I know that will be a negative 13b together. Minus 4b, plus, I like to write negative, plus a negative 9b here, plus 6 equals 0. So negative 4b plus a negative 9b is my negative 13b. Well, now let's go pull out a common factor. We can pull out a 2b here. 2b is in 6b squared and 4b. Pull out a 2b. We're left with, well, whoops, that's a 3b. <laughs> 3b minus 2 here. Plus, let's go pull out a negative 3 here. We're left with a 3b minus 2 equals 0. Well, notice now we have 3b minus 2 and 3b minus 2 here. We can pull both of those out. And then we're left with 2b plus or minus, a mi or so subtraction, or plus a negative 3, equals 0. So now we have it in factored form. We can now solve for our variable. We're going to set both parts equal to 0, which I can do here. 3b minus 2 equals 0. Add a 2 to both sides. 3b equals a positive 2, divided by 3, and b equals a positive 2 thirds. Do the same with the second one, 2b, let's do minus 3 here, equals 0. We can add a 3 to both sides, 2b comes down, equals a positive 3, divide both sides by 2, and b equals 3 halves. And so our two solutions here are just, is just our 2 thirds and 3 halves, and that is, after all this, our final answer. Hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com